Yo, what is good and welcome back to another Kirka.io video. In this video, I am going to show you how to become better at Kirka.io. So the first step to doing so is going to Kirka.io. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, we are on Kirka.io. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the client. So click client download. You want to you're going to want to download client here and then you're going to want to choose Windows, Linux or a Mac operating system, whatever one you're using. So I am using that one. So I would do the 64 bit and it is downloaded. So I'm going to exit out of that because I already have it. And then we are going to move on to Kirka.io. OK, so the first step is you're going to want to go to settings and you are going to want to go to your FOB. The recommended FOV is anywhere from 90 FOV all the way up to 120. Uh, if you go above 120, it'll look a little weird and be a little bit harder. Your weapon FOV is preference based. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. Uh, the 90 FOV or more is going to give you a better uh, field of view or FOV. Uh, that's going to be a lot better. Uh, for your arms, uh, until you start getting a lot of skins, uh, you can hide them. It'll make you more focused on your surroundings and enemy players. Uh, your resolution, you can put it at 2 or you can put it at 1. Um, that'll give you more FPS if you need it. Uh, mouse flick, yes. Uh, raw input, yes. This is only if you're having like a constant mouse flick while playing the game. And I do. Um, next, you want to go to mods. Go to mods over here. And now there's two different colors that you have to look for. Yellow and red. So texture, no texture, HP, yes. So if you are trying to increase your reaction time and getting used to uh, players, stuff like that, uh, yellow is definitely going to be the one you want to go for. Now if you're having issues seeing players or enemy players, you want to go red. Red will give you a better uh, sight, uh, visibility of players, and will make you become a better player overall. When it comes to map texture, I use my own texture, and this makes it easier for me to see it personally, but we can go ahead and delete that, and you can actually use the default, and it'll work just as good. But let's go ahead and jump into the game. And um, I, we're demonstrate it uh physics is actually a really good map for this uh for the long range uh red players so here we go we are in so you can almost immediately see every player on the map you can see the player way far over there um got a player right here they're they're super visible and we're not using any texture so we don't have a texture advantage but yeah, uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, that's the reason why you want to use red. So let's go ahead and exit out of there. And then let's jump into a solo and let's do, no, team. So we're going to do Sundial. Sundial is probably going to be the best map currently to uh, practice your skills and become better. So now we're going to go to mods and switch it up to a yellow. So it's kind of hard to get like a perfect yellow. So I think that will be good. But let's go ahead and jump in. And this is to increase your reaction time. So red is, you think about red. Red is a stop sign, it's a light. You constantly see red. Red pushes you to your limit, right? Um, it's the whole, you see a red so you immediately look at it because it, it's like that caution, that alert, right? It's danger stuff like that so it's going to increase your um, visibility because you, you you're gonna see it and you're gonna recognize it right so with yellow the reason why yellow is good is because yellow is blinding it's it's like the Sun I see you you don't not see it you know what I mean like it, it's a color that a lot of people don't like and you constantly see it um, yellow is gonna be really good on these types of maps where you have uh, a lot of crow close range uh, fighting or a close quarter fighting while on the other hand a red is going to be good for matches where you're super far away but you want to still be able to kill the enemy um, hopefully this all makes sense and maybe this will make you a better player I hope so um, otherwise in terms of like general 
playstyle and becoming better at the game, practice makes perfect. So if you go by this guide, you might become better, you know. It, it's all about how much time you're willing to invest into the game. Because the amount of time you're willing to invest will get invested back into you. Uh, your gameplay is going to get better, you're going to become a better player, uh, your reaction time will increase, uh, and games like Kirka.io or any other IO game, uh, they, they kind of carry over to every other game that you can play, like Valorant, CSGO, um, really anything. But I hope this video uh, helped, uh, it kind of took me a second to kind of compile it all and process it all in my head. To make it make sense so i hope this does make sense uh tell me what you think leave a like uh, comment down below and definitely hit that sub button if it does help and i'll see you next time bye